Hi guys, so today I am so excited to be filming. This is my first time filming a perfume video in a very long time and I am just so excited about it. Really, I just cannot wait to get stuck into this video and talk with you guys about some new fragrances that I got. Uh, because if you don't know, I'm sure you do already, but I went to, I've been away in uh, France for the past two months and I'm now back in Dubai and I got a lot of fragrances in France. I got about 55 fragrances new in France, in Paris, and I brought them back to Dubai, obviously, and I found so many new favorite fragrances. Really, I found so many. I really wanted to pick my top, 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 top favorites of my new fragrances that I got. So that's what I'm gonna be talking about today. I'm gonna go through some fragrances that I got that I'm just in love with. I wore so much while I was away. That's basically what this video is. It's not going to be going into detail too much about the fragrances or the brand, etc. This is more like a chit chat. I want to share with you guys what I got and I just cannot wait to talk about them. So let's get stuck into the video. Quickly, I always got to shout out my own fragrance. I'm sorry, it's a shameless plug, but I have to do it. My fragrance, I brought it to France with me, obviously, and I wore it so many nights out in the summer. Because for me, something you don't know about Minuit and Demi is that it works really well in a summer climate at night. It just bounces off your skin and smells insane. Yeah. So Minuit and Demi, it's still available. I will link it down below if you're interested. It's a beautiful gourmand fragrance that is more for like intimate situations, date night, cozy, sexy. It's very unisex. It's right in the middle. And yeah. So I just wanted to give my fragrance a little shout out. Always got to do it. And yeah. I don't even know where to start. Um, hmm. I think I'm gonna start with this fragrance since that I wore it so much while I was away. It is called Poets of Berlin from Wilhelm Perfumery. Now, something that I'm very ashamed of with myself is that I really didn't take notice of this brand for quite a long time. Not because I didn't like the bottle, I didn't like the vibe. In Dubai, they're very, uh, it's not very accessible. They're only in one store in Dubai at the Mall of the Emirates. And I never really bothered to try them all, smell them, etc. But you guys, this brand, it is really top. Wilhelm Perfumery, if you don't know it already, which I'm sure you do, because it's quite a, it's an upcoming brand for sure you need to go and smell them. I only wanted to include one in this video because I didn't want to overwhelm you guys with like 50 fragrances from one brand, but Wilhelm, I have so many favorites from this brand, but I think my most worn and my most loved is this one right here called Poets of Berlin. Now, how does it smell for me? First of all, I gotta say the bottle is super, super, super cute. I love the bottle. I love the concept of the brand. I actually met the founder in Paris. We went to an event at his boutique. He's very creative, very interesting guy. And I love everything that he's doing with Wilhelm. So Poets of Berlin, oh la la. For me, I have to put it very simply. This is a very green vanilla. It's very green. It's very sweet, it's very vanillic. It almost smells like it has some fig in this fragrance, which I know if you watch me, you know I have a problem with fig, but I think I don't have a problem with fig anymore because it seems like every single one of my favorite fragrances either smells a little bit figgy or it has a note of fig in it. So I think I need to shut up and just accept the fact that I kind of like fig. It has blueberry, it has bamboo, it has vanilla. I'm not sure what else is in here, but for me, the notes don't really add up to the fragrance necessarily. I get like a fruity vibe, but more of like a tropical fruity vibe. I get some vanilla, a lot of vanilla actually. I get this kind of fig milkiness and I get some green vibes, like a lot of greenness in here, maybe from the bamboo, I guess. It is just beautiful, super unique. I got complimented actually. I went to the YSL boutique on Rue Saint Honoré in Paris. I was just looking in there, browsing around because I love YSL. And I was wearing this and the vendor was saying, what is your fragrance? I need to write it down right now. It's so incredible. It's so beautiful. And it was Poets of Berlin. I really wore this all the time in the summer. It's a great fragrance. You're going to hear me talking about this one a lot. And Wilhelm Perfumery in general, because really I am in love with the brand. It's great. Cannot say enough good things. Poets of Berlin from Wilhelm.
Mmm, so good. If you want a unique vanilla, that's the one to go for, guys, for sure. So next up, I have a very, like, likable fragrance. This is nothing crazy. It's nothing gonna blow your mind or whatever, but I really enjoy this one. It's from Ex Nilo, and it's called Lost in Paradise. Again, I got this one in Paris, and for me, this is a really... Guys, there is nothing insane about this fragrance, but sometimes this is exactly how I want to smell. I will be honest, this is in my out of the shower tray of fragrances, because for me, this smells like a clean, beautiful woman. A clean, beautiful woman, that's it. Very feminine, very, very, very fresh. It's a floral, peony, pink pepper, musky type of scent, kind of like those Delina, Chloe, uh, there's one from Armani Privé that smells similar to this P Pivoire, I forgot. But really, it's nothing special, it's nothing crazy, but I love it. I had to put it in this video because me, I'm wearing it out of the shower. If I'm running errands, if I want to smell fresh and clean and very feminine, this is the one I'm gravitating towards because it's very... It's soft, it's fresh, it's floral, but not too much. It's very uh, girly. And sometimes that's exactly how I like to smell. If you like Bouquet de Enclave from BDK, if you like uh, some Chanel Chance line, the Chance au Tendre, this fragrance is for you 100%. It's great. Like I said, nothing crazy, but it's really something that I'm gravitating towards, especially in Dubai right now. It's so freaking hot. I love to wear something refreshing, but that still smells feminine and classy. So Lost in Paradise from Ex Nilo. I see this on a beautiful girl, very clean, very fresh. Her hair always smells like fresh shampoo, which is definitely not me, but I like to smell like this sometimes. Lost in Paradise. Next up, I have to talk about this fragrance. Now, a little controversial because I personally, the brand of Byredo. I like it, but for me, a lot of their fragrances smell the same. A lot of them. Gypsy Water, uh, Mojave Ghost, Bal Freak. They're very light and they're very transparent and they all smell kind of similar. With that being said, I found two fragrances from Byredo that I am obsessed with. I'm gonna make a video on another Byredo fragrance that I have to own ASAP. I'm not gonna tell you guys which one it is from the line, but let me say that it's much more oriental. It's much more ambery, warm. It's not your typical Byredo fragrance because for me, when I see people wear Byredo, they wear Mojave Ghost, they wear Gypsy Water, they wear all of the light fragrances. Whereas me, I like the more interesting ones from Byredo. And this one is called Bibliotech. Now, Bibliotech is very, very fruity, but really, really good. It's like this really sweet, intense, heady, fruity scent. Very, very, very unique as a fruity fragrance goes. It has plum, it has leather, it has peach. It's super unique, guys. For me, this is like very sexy. Like if you want to smell fruity, but not typical fruity, like raspberry, strawberry, or marshmallowy vibe, this is interesting. It's an interesting fruity fragrance. I wore it a lot in Corsica. And I just love it. It has something super addictive about it. It has like a dark plummy note, some leather in there to give it some depth. And the peach is just kind of like fuzzy and, and very, very, very sweet. Don't get me wrong, this is a really sweet fragrance. But what I like about it is the layers and the depth of the fruitiness. It doesn't smell like super girly and, and airy and stuff. It's got some punch to it, you know? So love it. Bibliotech from Byredo. Fantastic fruity fragrance. If you want something a little more on the unique side, this is fantastic. Now I will say the other Byredo that I love is more my favorite because it's more deep and oriental and I am going to make a video about it. So yeah, Bibliotech from Byredo, great scent. I finally got a bottle of Queer Beluga. I finally got Queer Beluga from Guerlain after so long of wanting it. I finally got it in Paris. Queer freaking Beluga, guys. This fragrance is, it was on my wish list for like two years. It's just amazing. Like it is just one of my favorite refined, vanillic, creamy, buttery fragrances I've ever tried. I also got another bottle of Spiritus du Bleveni. I have two bottles in Australia and now I bought a bottle here. 
it is just divine. For me, it smells like smooth, creamy, vanilla bean ice cream with some tonka bean. It's very smooth, very creamy, a little bit waxy and... Uh, Queer Beluga. For me, this is an incredible date night scent. If you're going on a date and you want something sweet, but not too sweet, it's definitely not a sugary sweet fragrance. This is perfection. Queer, it means leather. For me, it doesn't smell like leather at all. The suede note in the fragrance just gives it this really whole, uh, creamy, smooth, kind of waxy vibe with the vanilla note, it just molds into each other. It's complete, it's beautiful, it's delicious. Queer Beluga, guys, you gotta try this one if you haven't already, it's one of my favorites from this line. If you haven't tried this line from Guerlain, the Art and Materials collection, try one, buy one before they discontinue it because really it's top. This line from Guerlain is my favorite by far because it's all very oriental and very vanillic and very, they work with one note and they work the fragrance around that one note. And for me, it's just so worth checking out, so worth trying, beautiful. Queer Beluga, finally got it in my collection. Let's move on. I'm gonna go for these fragrances, which I wore all summer long. Guys, look at my Sol de Janeiro. It's a... Uh, Almost at the bottom, I was savoring my Sol de Janeiro, uh, the number 62, and I also have the Coco Cabana. Now, I love mixing the two. I wore these all throughout summer. They're cheap. They smell super good. They're a typical summer scent, but absolutely divine. Like, it's warm, it's sweet, it's coconutty. It just smells like you cannot bottle summer in a better way than what Sol de Janeiro has done. It's the smell of summer. And for me, oh yeah, this one is a little more like dusty cacao vibe, but the same principle. It smells like summer in a bottle. You cannot get a better fragrance. If you just want to spray something on and smell really good, surprisingly, they last a long time. I wore them, guys, I cannot even tell you, I wore them so much in the summer and I got so many compliments. I would layer it with my body cream because I have both of these body creams. I have the blue one and the orange one, the bum bum cream. I would layer it with everything and it just smells divine. Perfect summer scent. I cannot say enough good things about it. I'm gonna order much more from Sol de Janeiro because I discovered them a long time ago, but I never picked up the body sprays and I did before I went on summer vacation. No regrets. No regrets. I guess while I'm at it, I'm also going to talk about the Kayali Utopia because I would layer the Utopia with the body sprays. Now, for me, Mona did an amazing job with this fragrance, Utopia. She has great fragrances in her line. I also love the Pink Pepper and the Deja Vu, and I just got her new invite-only fragrance. But I would say me, in the summer, this is what I want to smell like. I want to smell like Utopia. It's along the lines of like Eau de Soleil Blanc from Tom Ford or Soleil Blanc from Tom Ford. It smells like the same vibe, which I know that Soleil Blanc is one of Mona's favorite fragrances. So maybe she got a little inspired or she wanted to create something along the similar line of uh, Soleil Blanc. It's beautiful. It's a luxurious white floral coconut creamy, beachy, tropical scent. It works wonders in the summer at night you're just gonna smell luxurious summer vibes, French Riviera on a yacht. Really, this smells beautiful. If you like Soleil Blanc from Tom Ford or the Eau de Soleil Blanc, you're gonna love Utopia. It was one of my favorites to wear throughout the summer because this is what I like in the summer. I wanna smell appropriate to my situation and stuff. So Utopia from Kayali, fantastic scent. Love it, and she did a really great job with this one. Next up, I think I'm going to talk about a Killian that I got. I got quite a few Killians while I was in Paris. We actually met with Killian for Pierre and I's project, and they loved our concept, which was very flattering because Killian is such a big brand uh, under Estee Lauder, and yeah, it was very satisfying. So this one is Voulez-vous coucher avec moi? It means, do you want to sleep with me tonight? 
This fragrance, I kind of didn't really look at it from Killian for a long time. I'm not really sure why, but it is beautiful. It's a really feminine, white floral, yellow flowers. It has tuberose, gardenia, ylang ylang, but it's very soft and it's not overwhelming. I will be honest, and I've said it many times, I'm not really into very heady, tuberose, white flower scents anymore. I did go through a phase of loving them a few years ago. But now I like different sort of fragrances, more conceptual, a little bit different. And this fragrance, it's a white flower, strictly white floral, yellow floral, ylang ylang, tuberose, gardenia, uh, rose. But it doesn't, it's very soft. It's really beautiful, very soft. It still has a nice kind of clean touch to it, which I really, really like. And to me, it smells white. Like this is the scent that I would recommend to somebody getting married. You want to smell clean and luxurious, but still very feminine and classy. This is the fragrance to wear. For me, it really smells like a wedding fragrance because you still have all of those flowers in the fragrance, but it's done in such a soft and beautiful way, still smelling clean. So gorgeous scent, voulez-vous cocher avec moi? Beautiful from Killian. Definitely try it if you like your clean white flowers. This is a beautiful scent. Okay, next. I have to go on a little bit of a rant right now. This brand is called Mathia Premier and it is the brand of Aurelien Guichard, who has made some of the most famous fragrances in the world. One of them being Versace Eros. Uh, he made so many for Narciso Rodriguez, some for Dolce & Gabbana. The list goes on and on and on. Aurelien Guichard, he's a very well-respected perfumer in the industry. And this is his brand. And it's a fairly new brand, but man, am I so glad that I got to discover it. I actually as well got to meet him in Paris and uh, Pierre and I, we were meeting for our project. Um, but I am so happy to have discovered his brand. He presented it to us with his uh, co-partner of the brand. They presented the, the brand to us. They went through all the fragrances. The concept of this brand is just fabulous. I will be making a video on it, so I'm not gonna go into it now, but the concept is great. The juice is just wow. And I am really not disappointed with the brand at all. And I was shocked. I will tell you guys my favorite brands that I discovered recently. It's Wilhelm, Mathieu Premier, and I think there was one more, but I forgot. Mathieu Premier and Wilhelm were by far my two favorite brands that I've discovered in a really long time. And this fragrance right here, it's called Ensemble Suave. Now, this is so, so addictive that I cannot even explain it. I have never smelled anything like this before. It is wow. Like, wow. I will tell you guys, I wore this one night in Paris and I got stopped, I swear to you guys, on the street by three people when I was wearing Ensemble Suave. This is just really, really incredible. It has incense, it has coffee, it has vanilla. It has this really addictive sweetness to it. It is a very, very sweet fragrance, don't get me wrong. The incense is like burning and I, I, you guys can tell I'm really passionate about this fragrance because I love it so much, but you smell the incense, but it's really sweet. The vanilla smells like it's burning with the incense and it's the smoke is coming up and you're smelling this sweet smoke. You have like a back note of coffee. The coffee is not too much in the fragrance, but you definitely get it. I would say if you like fragrances like Oud for Greatness or Baccarat, you could definitely like Ensemble Suave. They don't smell the same, but I feel like if you like those two fragrances, you could definitely love the Ensemble Suave. It is really, really special, really addictive, and really just wow, Ensemble Suave. Pierre also wore it to a party and apparently he got compliments all night from wearing this scent. Moonlight in Heaven by Killian. I wore a lot of this one, if you guys can see. It's brand new and I've already gone down to like here. Now, Moonlight in Heaven. I'm not gonna lie, when I would go to like the Killian boutique, the Killian counters in Dubai, I was never impressed by this fragrance, really. I didn't really find it anything crazy until I started wearing it and then it got a little bit warmer to me and it started coming closer to me and I started to fall in love with it. Not because it's anything crazy. It is a perfect everyday fragrance. It's 
very fresh, very, very, very fresh. It has this super beautiful and juicy, but soft at the same time, grapefruit note, which me personally, I love the smell of grapefruit in fragrances. I think it smells really invigorating, youthful, fun, and fresh. Grapefruit, it has some mango, I think, in here, but to be honest, it's not like an overly sweet, fruity fragrance at all. It doesn't really smell sweet or too fruity or anything like that. You mostly get this soft freshness with a little bit of underlying coconut in there. The coconut is very underneath. It's not too much, it's not too obvious, it's not too loud. But overall, I would say it's a very fresh, soft, slightly fruity, a little bit musky. And it's just so nice. It's so peaceful. It's so nice, calming perfect for like an everyday fragrance. Me, I'm wearing it out of the shower almost every day. The only thing I wish with this fragrance is that it lasted longer uh, because it doesn't really last that long on my skin personally. I don't even want to say that because I love it so much. And honestly, if I run out, I would probably repurchase it. But the only thing is that the longevity is not great. I know I didn't go into longevity on all of the fragrances, but if I end up doing like an in-depth review of like this brand, for instance, I will tell you guys the longevity. By the way, Ensemble Suave, crazy projection, crazy longevity. Actually, all of the Matière Première fragrances, they last a really long time on your skin. Insane. Like it's really insane how long they last. Not sponsored, just talking truth right now. Okay, next up, I'm going to go for Moonlight in Chiang Mai from Ducita. I also got a lot of Ducita while I was away, and I would say that this one is by far my favorite, Moonlight in Chiang Mai. It is just beautiful. Actually, it's not really beautiful, it's sexy. This is really mysterious, kind of along the lines of like Ensemble Suave, like that kind of mysterious, sexy, unique smelling fragrance. Now, this fragrance, I will tell you exactly how it smells in my mind. For me, I get an Oud for Greatness vibe in here. I get an Oud for Greatness mixed with Baccarat, like the combination of those two fragrances. That's what I feel in this scent, except much lighter and much fresher. Some people think that it smells like Passessoir from BDK. Me, I've worn Passessoir, I've gone through my whole bottle, I've got another bottle up there. I don't think it smells like Passessoir. I would say it gives you more of a Baccarat Rouge vibe with this kind of dirty, dirty touch to it. It is a really, really great scent. I'm not sure it would be for everyone, but this fragrance, it's one of my favorite from Ducita because it's so, it has that addictiveness coming out. For curiosity, I'm gonna check what the notes are for here. Yuzu, jasmine, nutmeg, benzoin, teakwood, vetiver, myrrh, patchouli. So me, I get that citrusy yuzu note, which is very bright. Me, I definitely get maybe the dirtiness from the nutmeg, um, I think. But it has this overall sweetness to it. That's why I think that it reminds me a little bit of like Baccarat with Oud for Greatness. You need to try this one. If you like those two fragrances mixed together, you might really like the Moonlight in Chiang Mai. Really great scent, love it a lot. Very addictive, can wear it in the day and night. Great scent, the two last fragrances. Very excited for these two. So the first one that I'm gonna talk about is from Maison Crubelli. And this fragrance is called, <laughs> this fragrance is called Iris Malicon. Now, I don't know if you can see, but I wore this in Paris every time I had a meeting, which was like four times a day, every day for three weeks. I was obsessed with this fragrance. I am obsessed with this fragrance. I have to say something about this scent. It is not for the faint of heart. It is not at all for the faint of heart. This scent is a bomb. It is strong, it is powerful, it is very, very, very heady. It is not a light scent by the slightest. It is for the people that love fragrance and that love iris, to be honest. This is probably my favorite iris fragrance I have ever tried, hands down. I actually didn't think that I would like this fragrance at all. And I think it's because my taste has changed quite a lot. And this is now exactly what I want to smell like when I want to be taken seriously or I want to smell really, really, really luxurious. This is for special events, meetings or work office. This is super upper class, refined, just 
amazing. Now, how does it smell? This is an iris scent. Let me grab the bottle again. This is an iris scent to me that is very, very, very thick. There is no air in this fragrance at all. It's a big ball of iris, orris. It's very chocolatey to me. There is a chocolatey kind of note in the fragrance. Very, very green as well. But once you, once it kind of settles down onto your skin, you really get the iris, that kind of buttery, powdery orris root coming out. And you get this chocolatey vibe from it. It smells like money. Oh la la guys, I was wearing this because some days in Paris it was really cold. Iris. I would have a super important meeting, like for instance with a Killian or whatever. Iris. I was wearing it everywhere. It is just my top, one of my top, top, top fragrances ever. But let me preface it by saying, really, I think if you love iris, you definitely need to try it. But this is a really like special, unique iris scent. Very chocolatey, very thick, very heavy, intense. The longevity and projection on this one is insane. Insane. And I just adore it. Iris Malikant, one of my favorite discoveries. Really, really, it's a special and beautiful fragrance. And the last fragrance that I'm going to talk about. Again, I know it's kind of annoying, but it's probably my favorite sandalwood fragrance ever. And it is Santal Austral by Mathieu Premier. Again, I have a lot of favorites from this brand. I will make a video on it. But this is insane, this fragrance. Again, I wore this one all in Corsica. Oh, wow. wow, 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 wow. If you like the same fragrances as me, Santal Austral. This is so sweet resinous, warm, addicting, vanilla, benzoin, iris, tonka bean. It's really, it's very sweet, very resinous, very warm, a little bit powdery. It's divine. If you like uh, Santal Complet from Fragrance Suvoir, you're going to love this one. The problem with Santal Complet is that it doesn't really last very long. Santal Austral, you try to scrub this fragrance off your skin. I dare you to try. I wore it so many times in uh, Corsica, like I was saying, for nights out, especially for nights out in the summer. This was wow. Pierre also loves wearing this one because for me it's unisex, maybe slightly feminine, but it is just woody, balsamic, slightly powdery, very resinous, very warm and sweet and addictive. It's just really Santal Austral top. I hope that you guys enjoyed this super rambly, super long video of me going through my favorite fragrances right now. Nothing was sponsored. Nothing was sponsored, guys. It's just me going through my favorites. And I hope that I could help you to discover or at least try a new fragrance because I was really... Before we went away, I was kind of getting not bored of my collection because I have so many. How can you get bored? But I wanted some new fragrances. I wanted some new ones. Since I've been back, I have a few new fragrances on the way. I have some from Zerzhov, which I'm dying to have in my collection. I have some from Mise en Seur. I have some from a few other brands that I, I want to get some more of. So yeah, and also keep in mind, even if I'm talking about new favorites, I still have my old favorites. Like Rouge Malakite is still my favorite. Uh, Vini Havan, Jazz Club, Nishane Annie, uh, there are so many, so don't think just because I'm talking about these that I rejected my old favorites. I still love them, but I'm very happy to have some new fragrances to wear and to love and to discover. Anyways, that's it. Sorry guys, this was a big mess of a video, but I'm just getting back into the swing of things. So yeah, uh, that's it. I'm gonna go. I forgot how to do an outro. Oh well. Hope you guys are good. See you soon. What fragrances did you just discover? Did you try any of the ones in my list? If so, let me know what you think because I'm really wanting to talk about them, especially the Iris and the Mattia Premier. I'm interested if you guys have ever discovered this brand or tried them. All right. See you guys soon. And yeah. Why did I do that?